Uh huh. Real sticky door handle. Yeah, very oh, sticky. Oh, there you go. And he's saying he's being chased by ghosts. Obviously, I think he's fucking crazy. I'm trying to make some sales. And he keeps calling me. Finally, like an hour later, we go down to see like what the fuck is going on because we think maybe he's like off his meds. I don't know if Leslie's actually on meds, but he could have been off of them if he was. Uh, maybe he smoked some crack. I don't fucking know, right? So we go meet this guy and he's saying- uh, Leslie's rich. It would be cocaine if anything. Yeah, well, you'd think that, but then look at that. What was it? Like the governor of Canada or some shit? Wait, what happened to the governor of Canada? One of the governors of Can Canada, he uh, was like a crackhead. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, was he rich? Yeah, he was fucking loaded. He used to get prostitutes and smoke crack. But anyways, we go down into the mine shaft. Uh, oh, no, sorry. We go down to the hunting station and all of a sudden we see these clowns. And I'm not talking about ordinary clowns. I'm talking about motherfucking clowns that in one moment you see them, next moment they're gone. And I don't mean turn around the corner, they're gone. I mean, they're standing right there and then they're not in a blink of an eye. We oh, go into the, the mine shaft. It's pitch dark. Why we go down there? That's where we, uh, that's where we saw him head. Cause we're wondering who the fuck are these motherfuckers? Either they got some crazy technology or maybe they really are ghosts. As we start to go deeper into the mine, hearing sounds I've never heard in my goddamn life. We turn around to exit after finding nothing, only to find that the entrance is boarded up with nails and fucking wood planks. We can't get out. What the fuck? Eventually, I end up passing out because I ate something I shouldn't have. As I'm lying on the ground and I got rats crawling over me, in come the clowns. They pour wine over me along with Denzel's blood that he spilled over my body. Before you know it, I'm back on my feet, helping to trying to find a way out. After hours go by, I don't know, time was just slows down, you know, in moments like that. We came up with the idea, like, listen, we're in a mine. There might be some dynamite in the area. Oh, absolutely. Well, Lucky for us, we found some safe C4 on a crate. So naturally, we don't use it to get out. Instead, we use it on these two doors that seem to be blocked shut. One being a wooden door, the other one being a entrance to a deeper part of the mine. Well, okay. Fortunately, that C4 does absolutely nothing to blow open the very, very strong door. So we're trapped again. Oh, shit. After negotiating with these ghosts and trying to get some of their more, more of their C4 crates and being denied, the doors, they unplank themselves. And I oh. go buy some wings. Really good wings, by the way. I'm going to go buy some bandages and weed. Yeah, I know this is a very too. unbelievable story, by the way. Trust me. I didn't believe it when Leslie originally brought me down. <laughs> Wait, what mine shaft? Um, it's one by Harmony. Oh, you got to show me this shit. Oh yeah, absolutely. Leslie owns it. He's gonna be uh, sending prisoners down there. Not just to be clear.